All right, class, here is another typical type of problem you will see for parabolas. It talks about a suspension bridge and the cables and stuff like that and says find the height of the cable 10 meters from the center of the bridge, round your answer to the nearest thousandth, that's to the nearest three decimal places. Um, and so a couple things. First thing, to really understand this problem, you need to understand what's being asked. And number two, a good picture usually helps this. So I have helped you guys by giving you my artistic rendition of this picture right here. Right now, I'm going to stop the recording and let you guys copy this. And if you're viewing this, you may want to stop and copy that. Okay, so like I said, you know, we're back, and uh, you should have copied this picture down if you want to make some notes and stuff like that. Um, when you read this, number one, a suspension bridge. Think of the Golden Gate Bridge in California. That's a that is a typical type of uh, example of suspension bridge. There's uh, I think there's one down in Charleston. There's a lot of suspension bridges everywhere, but they're all categorized by pillars and then a cable that suspends between them. Now in this case, the blue part of the graph is the uh, or the blue part of the picture is our actual cable there and it forms a parabola and we know it forms a parabola because it says it in the problem it says it's in the shape of a parabola now it's very important when you read word problems uh, especially in this conic area that you pay attention to the type of shape that it says it says it's in the shape of a parabola so that means we got to use parabola equations for this stuff we know the towers are 107 meters apart if you look at that and look at the picture so we know there's 107 meters between each tower we know that the cables, oh, I'm sorry, and that they are 18 feet above the roadway. Now, notice in my picture where the little car is, that's the roadway. The water level is down below. And I just did that to show you that we're talking about a bridge and all this kind of stuff. We're going to do a graph with this. I'm going to minimize this picture and just do a graph that gives you the specifics there. The cables are 1.85 meters above the roadway, midway between the towers. So you're going to find out that's going to be our vertex. It says find the height of the cable 10 meters from the center of the bridge. So you'll notice in red I have 10 comma y. So what I want to know is that when in my graph when x is 10, what is y? When x is 10, what is y? Uh, going back to in green you have 0, 1.85. That's the vertex of the parabola. And I know that because the vertex is always going to be at the lowest point. And it says the cables are 1.85 meters above the road, midway between the towers. And then the suspension bridge, halfway between the towers, is always the lowest point of the cable, always in every case. Okay, so what we're going to do then is we're going to take this right here. I'm going to just make it a little smaller, just sort of push it off to the side for a second. And really what we're going to do is we're going to create another sketch here in which our parabola, I'll still use the color blue here, the parabola is going to face upward here, and I know that my vertex is not 0, 0, it's not the origin, it's the point 0, 1.85. 0, 1.85 is my vertex. Okay, and I'm orienting this upward. And so, because of my drawing, that 107 and the 18, I know that this point right here is going to be 18 tall, and what's 107 divided by 2? I'm going to pull my calculator out. I'm not doing it on the screen here, but if I take 107, and if I divide that by 2, I get 53.5. So I get 53.5, 18. Let's do this a little bit better. That's 53.5 comma 18. And the reason I want to do 53.5 is this half of 107 is the distance all the way across. That's what it is. So I want half of that for that. Right now, with that in mind, then, I can begin to construct my equation. So since this is a parabola that's open upward, I'm, my equation is going to look like this. X minus 8 squared is equal to 4P times Y minus K. That's what my equation is going to look like because it opens upward. And now I'm going to put numbers in here. I know that my h part is 0. 
and I know that my K part is 1.85. So I can shorten this to x squared is equal to 4p times y minus 1.85. I can do that. Now, what I want to do is I want to find out what is y when x is 10. So I want to find out, if I plug in 10 into the equation, I want to find out what y is. The problem is, is I still have a variable right here, p. I need to find that variable first before I can even try to work this equation out. I have to do that first. So, how am I going to find P? Well, this goes back to, you can look at one of the other videos we did. We can find P if we know a number for X and for Y, and we do know those numbers. Those numbers are part of the graph here. It's that 53.518, so I know this. I know 53.5 squared is equal to 4P times 18 minus 1.85. Now those numbers aren't pretty, but they're going to work. Because all I have to do is take 1.85 from 18. In fact, I'll do that. I'll work through the algebra here. I'm not pulling my calculator up, but 18 minus 1.85 is 16.15. And 53.5 squared is 2862. 2862.25 is equal to 4 times P times 16.15. So therefore then, if I were to multiply 4 times 16.15, so 16.15 times 4 is 64.6. So here's what I have algebraically. 2862.25 is equal to 64.6p. So therefore, p is just simply going to be 26, 2862.5 divided by 64.6. So I have, and I have a decimal. I have 44.3114. So I'm going to call this P is 44.31. Now that's what P is. Let's use that to find the equation then. Let's take this and extend it back out over here. So we have X squared is equal to 4, and I probably didn't have to go through all this because I divided by 4 and all that, and multiply by 4, but I'm going to work it out. 44.31 times y minus 1.85. Okay, so here's what I have then. Here's my equation. x squared is equal to 177.245 times y minus 1.85. Now I'm going to pause for a second here and let you all digest that because we haven't really answered the question yet. Okay, so we have paused this just simply to, I fielded some questions. I also organized everything a little bit differently. I minimized some things and uh, pushed some things around from what you just saw. But the bottom line is this. We want to know what is y when x is 10. So 10 squared is equal to 177.245 times y minus 1.85. There are several ways to do this algebraically. Me, I'm not going to distribute that 177.245. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to divide both sides by 177.245. So when I go to divide both sides by that, the result is just simply going to be 10 squared is 100. So 100 divided by 177.245. And I'm doing this in my calculator. I'm not doing it on the screen here. That's 0.564 is equal to y minus 1.85. Well, now to get y by itself, I just simply add 1.85 to both sides. So therefore, my y when my x is 10 is just simply 0.564 plus 1.85. Again, I'm doing it in my calculator, and I get 2.414.
because it said around in the nearest thousands. So what then do I know about the height of the cable 10 meters out from the center? So if I am 10 meters out, whether I am out in the right or the left isn't going to matter since this is a parabola. I know my height is 2.414 meters.